In political news, it's a topic that just won't go away. A day after Mayor Bloomberg was bombarded by reporters' questions on whether he'd attend tonight's first scheduled debate before November's election, his opponent, Fernando Ferrer, called the mayor's refusal to attend a disappointment for the city. Our in senior Manhattan reporter Tom Schwab has more on today's election developments. Well, Colleen, tonight's highly anticipated debate at Harlem's legendary Apollo Theater went on without Mayor Bloomberg. Many held out hope that the mayor would change his mind, but there were no last-minute surprises. Meanwhile, some say Bloomberg's refusal to attend was the best political thing that could have happened to Ferrer all week. Earlier in the day, I caught up with the mayoral hopeful and asked him if he agreed. No, actually, I'm very sad that Mayor Bloomberg has uh, publicly chosen at least not to attend, and I would urge him even now to change his mind. Ferrer, who was on hand to accept today's endorsement from the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community, says despite the mayor's snub, he was looking forward to tonight's debate. It seems to me only decent to participate in this debate, which is legally required. So if he shows up tonight, you won't consider it a political stunt? It'll be in the public's best interest, in your opinion? I'd be delighted to see him show up, and I'd be delighted to debate him, because that's what this is about. Ferrer's day began in Harlem by having breakfast with his political supporters, including city comptroller William Thompson and New York Congressman Charlie Rangel, who ironically were at Bloomberg's side yesterday, supporting the mayor's efforts to find construction jobs for minority workers. Both Thompson and Rangel, however, made it clear that Bloomberg's refusal to attend tonight's debate in Harlem was a mistake. I don't know what got into the, uh, the mayor's people in not going forward in having that debate in Harlem. The debate issue has had a life of its own. Everyone from Senator Chuck Schumer to former Vice President Al Gore has commented on its significance. The mayor wants to put the issue behind him, which was evident at yesterday's press conference when a clearly irritated mayor hastily answered reporters' questions. I've been to the Apollo Theater a number of times. Thank you very much. Miss, we are not going to do this debate. We've said two, and that's what we're going to do. Sir, all the way in the back. All the way, wait, no, all the way in the back. You've had, sir, I just recognized this gentleman back there. I think he deserves the courtesy. And then I'll tell you what, I'll come back and answer your question, okay? Clearly a side of the mayor we don't see too often. Meanwhile, tonight's empty chair debate, as some are calling it, just wrapped up with Ferrer hashing it out with conservative party candidate Tom Ognebeni. From Manhattan tonight, I'm Tom Schwab. Colleen, back to you. Thanks, Tom. In other news.